Full disclosure, there's a lot of movies I missed in 2022. Of the ones I've seen, these are the very best. Number 10, Bullet Train. I'll never forget watching this in theaters with my buddies. It's ambitious, loads of fun, and one of the most memorable films of the year. While I had some small nitpicks and modest issues with it at times, the action and style more than make up for it because it's a great time at the movies. It feels fresh, which is something that you'll see as a common theme for the year in a sometimes stale movie landscape, and it's entertaining throughout and made me laugh, especially being a dad with a son who loves Thomas the Tank Engine. You just gotta watch it to see what I mean. Number nine, The Northman. Brutal, uncompromising, otherworldly, transcendent, pagan. If this doesn't win Best Cinematography, I'll riot. It's phenomenal with devoted performances combined with excessively blocked long takes that immerse us in Robert Eggers' obsessive direction. The lengths they go is impressive. It's not super rewatchable and the story is simpler than I expected, and it can be tough to watch, but man, is it something else. Number eight the unbearable weight of massive talent. This Nicolas Cage movie about Nicolas Cage was so original, a breath of fresh air. But the biggest surprise was the emotion. It's heartfelt, wholesome-ish, despite the language, and pretty moving at times. It's shocking to me that essentially a Hollywood satire parody film has such an intentional message about the importance of family. It's not the only contender for this year in that regard, but darn if it isn't compelling when no one expected it to be. Pedro Pascal is also a national treasure. <laughs> See what I did there? Number seven, The Gray Man. This one actually was kind of divisive or got some mid reviews and I don't think it's mid at all. I genuinely don't get it because I absolutely loved it. I may be a sucker for action films, but come on y'all. The Russo brothers are developing such a knack for action. Just when you think the movie is going to be cliche, and it sometimes is, in the best of ways, it breaks the mold with sheer likability. I respect the heck out of that. Great hand-to-hand -hand fight sequences. I enjoyed it. Number six, Glass Onion. A knives out mystery riveting unique engaging and it keeps you guessing maybe loses some steam in the middle with a certain creative choice and it takes a while to get going but it's so well written and memorable and i hope they make 10 more of these number five rrr completely defying the laws of physics but owning it incredibly staged action sincere emotional storytelling and exciting fun musical numbers that will leave you smiling throughout but it's also visceral, heartbreaking, triumphant, and full of heart. It's also incredibly long with multiple climactic moments that made me wonder if it had been more digestible as a miniseries, but this Indian film is one for the ages and unlike anything I've really ever seen, which is kind of cool that happened multiple times in 2022. Number four, Avatar, The Way of Water. Don't bet against James Cameron, he doesn't miss. The best CGI visuals ever made against a simple, but powerful and moving story about family with heart pounding set pieces along the way. What else can I say? It's making all of the money. After 13 years, I didn't think I'd care. And here it is at number four out of 10 of the best movies of 2022. Bring all those sequels on. Number three, everything, everywhere, all at once. The less you know about that crazy title in this movie is the better because this is wild cinema at its finest and the real multiverse of madness in 2022. You'll be perplexed, confused, you'll cheer, laugh, cry, and have so much fun. Without a doubt, one of the most creative and unique movies I have ever seen. I debated putting this higher, but the rollicking pace and exposition made me need to rewatch it to appreciate it to the fullest, despite loving it. Cave Week Khan, however you pronounce his name, short round from Indiana Jones, is absolutely incredible, and I hope he wins an award for this. Number two, The Batman. Dun, 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 dun. Are you surprised? Just that score alone, this new Batman score that is also going to be iconic that you can just hum, it's amazing. This was almost at number three, but I knew it was a five-star masterpiece at the get-go. It gave me the three big things I wanted from a new Batman movie. A no-kill Batman, a detective story, and more dynamic fight scenes. It may owe a lot to the Dark Knight trilogy, but it carves out its own identity with a terrifying villain, a woefully dark tone, honest character writing, and a surprising message of hope. My goodness, that score, again, by Giacchino too. Wow. Number one, the best movie of 2022 is Top Gun Maverick. Let's be honest, lots of us were excited for this, some were nervous, but no one expected it to be so good. A legacy sequel that honors its roots and flourishes beyond expectations. It's refreshing to have a follow-up that doesn't feel the need to make older characters, legacy characters, failures to make them interesting. 
It's an emotional, thrilling ride that had me on the edge of my seat for the entire runtime. Thanks for your effort, Tom Cruise and team. Your message at the beginning of the film was warm, welcomed, and earnestly paid off. This is definitely my pick for the best film of 2022. And now let's dig into some honorable mentions that didn't quite make the cut, but are still worth seeing. The first mention will be Nope, which tries to be a bunch of concepts rolled into one, sometimes too many, leading to a bloated runtime and a seemingly scatterbrained narrative. But when you truly engage with the themes and you ponder the opening and the nature of all the events that transpired, you can feel the intelligence radiating off the screen. While flawed, in the grand scheme of all the movies you've ever watched, how many truly stay with you? If it does, what does that tell you? That Jordan Peele is talented. My second honorable mention goes to Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Terrible title, but I'm a big DBZ fan, and it was an interesting movie for longtime fans. It's a worthy addition to the franchise whose uneven animation and weak villains are saved by nice callbacks, some decent character moments, and a progressive sense of world building that is a welcome change of pace for the franchise. And it has one of my favorite credit scenes in recent memory. Plus the focus on Piccolo and Gohan was Pretty cool. My last honorable mention will be The Atom Project. Sean Levy, I believe South said, and Ryan Reynolds are proving to be quite the pairing, aren't they? Like Free Guy, this is a wonderfully imaginative, fun, and endearing film with a strong message at the center. It's a bona fide hit for Netflix, and it's easy to see why. There's cool action, great humor, and another touching story about family that really sells this as a must-see for family blockbuster. As a newer-ish parent, it spoke deeply to me and surprised the heck out of me, to be honest. What were some of your favorite movies in 2022? What movies did I not mention that I should have seen or need to see, or maybe you feel should have made the list? Let me know in the comments. Remember to hit subscribe and like this video as more content is coming very soon. And remember, always look for the good.